So a little bit of a different video than normal where I'm going to be going through the Herman Miller Cosm and Aerion chairs. I will be going through the pros and cons of both of these chairs. Obviously I am a trader so I am sat on my chair for a good 12 hours a day at least sometimes. So I really need a good chair that works for me and, and helps my back and posture. So I will be going through the pros and cons of both of these chairs and then giving you my overall decision of which chair I will be using going forwards. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video and let's get into the review. Cheers. So it's actually fairly funny how I come across doing this video. I originally posted obviously a 15 second clip of the Herman Miller Cosm chair on Instagram and the amount of DMs and questions I received off the back of that Instagram clip was pretty crazy. So there's obviously a demand of people wanting to know the chair that I use and why I use this chair. So as promised, I said I'll make a more in-depth video for you all. And here we are making the <laughs> making a video which I never thought I'd be doing of a review of the Herman Miller, Herman Miller Cosm and Aerion chairs. Obviously, a bit of background, I am a stock trader. Well, stock trader turned now Bitcoin cryptocurrency trader. So I am sat in this chair for anywhere from really on a good day, eight hours. Sometimes I'll be on this chair for 16 hours. If, if I wake up for the London Open and I trade through to the daily close, yeah, then it's a good 12 hours easily in a, in a day. So I do make good use of my chairs. And I have had, you know, somewhat back problems, obviously. I'm, I'm fairly young, but I want to be in the, you know, having the correct posture throughout the day and just not have back problems later in life. Uh, so this video is to hopefully gonna make you help you make an informed decision of the chair I use and in turn there's some pros and cons obviously I've been using this uh, the Cosm mainly for for a few months and I've had the area on uh yeah a while so it's, it's a good chair uh so the, the Cosm this is a new chair from Herman Miller I believe don't quote me on this but I want to say it came out in 2019 all I know is it's a very it's their newest chair in the lineup so it's um the reasonings for this chair are basically there's no adjustments so Herman Miller obviously a pretty high-end brand okay they're, they're, they're very good at what they do the engineering behind the chairs is very clever and I was drawn to the Cosm because of the fact that there's no adjustments so I thought oh great this is going to be a chair that I can sit in I do not have to be worrying about the lumbar support adjusting the the armrests adjusting the tilt function um, you know x y and z everything that you can adjust over on the obviously the Aerion, a very customizable chair. I thought, okay, I'll give this a go, see what it's like. And I really don't actually enjoy this. I really didn't like, I didn't get along with the chair, let's put it like that. I actually found the chair was, you are forced upright to, you are fully sitting upright whenever using this chair. And because there's no adjustments in the tilt, there's no adjustments in, in the arms, and there's no adjustment in the lumbar support, uh, I, I found this extremely uncomfortable. I really did not get along with this chair. Hence why, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm using again the Herman Miller Aerion chair. I believe this Cosm chair would be good for use in a communal environment. For example, I think this would be good in a conference room where you're having lots of different people sitting in the chair. They do not have to be messing around with adjusting the chair because there is no adjustments. They can change the height, so you can adjust the height of the chair, but you cannot adjust anything else. The height is the only thing you can adjust. Also, it visually is very, you know, it's very, very, very visually pleasing. Uh, I, I like the look of this chair. It looks very smart. It, it's just something you like to look at. You know, this is a good piece, again, for a conference room, a shared chair, uh, something that you just want a lot of people to sit in and um, then then leave. <laughs> um, although they might not want to leave, depending. Uh, you know, it's, it's a good chair. I can sit in it for eight hours a day, but it's just in a direct comparison against this. I, I had to go back to it, really. But, yeah, the, the pros of this chair are, obviously, there's a pro and the con in no adjustments. The pro is that many people can sit in the chair and, and quote-unquote, get comfortable straight away um that wasn't really for me the case but possibly just me as always i'd say you got you got to get the chair and recommend you know try it out yourself really uh for me it didn't really work but i do see the pros of this being because there is no adjustments it's great for a conference room type setting or something where you you want lots of different people in the chair moving on to the Aryan. uh i hope i'm pronouncing that right by the way 
This is a chair that has full customization. You can adjust the height of the arms, the back and forwards of the arms, left and right of the arms, the tilt adjustments. You can adjust the lumbar support, the height. Um, I think that's about everything that I can think of that you can adjust in the chair. So it's pretty customizable. When it comes to a chair, you can change just about everything. Obviously, it doesn't have such a height. If you compare the height difference, you know, you're talking about a good, good foot of height difference so in about centimeters we're talking about maybe 60 centimeters i would say difference in the height of the chair um, obviously when it comes to the sitting width um the advantage of the Aerion, this is the size b you can get this in adjustable size in different sizes when you first buy it obviously it's, it's all handmade so you can you can choose the sizing or handmade i guess a, a robot makes it <laughs> not a robot but a factory you know um but th this has more width to it whereas this if you are a bigger person, you might find yourself actually finding this more uncomfortable on the sides. So that's something to be aware of. Um, I think I, I believe if you, if you are bigger bodied, then the Aryan probably is for you because it's going to be a little bit tight. I myself am, am a small person, you know, I'm, I'm I'm pretty skinny, so I I was okay in this, but um, that's something to bear in mind. I would say that this is is a is a more all rounded chair. Okay, uh, disadvantages of this chair is, is it doesn't have the headrest, which can be viewed as a pro and con in my opinion. Personally, I never actually use the headrest. I've actually found it if you to, to use this headrest, the only way you can use it is if you lean back in the chair. Otherwise, 99% of the time you are not even putting your head back in this chair because you're forced so upright. It actually is counterintuitive to lean back with your head to use the headrest. So there's a certain amount of tilt on the chair. I really didn't really get along with it. You have to actually fully press back on with your feet on the ground to recline in the chair. Um, you know, I didn't really like that. I, I like the the area where you, you you lean back in the chair and it's so much more natural. Uh, so that that's a that's again another pro of the of the area. So I, I think you can tell my decision the chair that I am going to be using going forwards, which which is the area on chair. I myself am, am pleased with it. You have to ignore the mess in this office. It is, it is very messy. So you can see some of the wires down there. I don't obviously normally record anything in here. So it's it's very messy. So you're going to have to ignore that. But, but focusing on the chair, focusing on the chair, I have run through the pros and cons of each chair. Literally the main pro and con of the chair is this has no adjustment. This has many adjustments. Overall, I prefer this chair. I prefer a chair if I'm going to be sat in it for 12 hours a day. I want a chair that I can adjust. On top of that, it just wins in comfort. The backrest is so much more comfortable. The recline is better. The tilt is better. Being able to adjust the arms is better. Um, so yeah, the only advantage I can see for this chair is if it's used in a in a workspace type of environment where you're in a conference room. I myself am going to keep this chair but I will be bringing it across to my other office. This is this is my house I'm in now. So I'll be bringing this across to my other office, which is you know more people can more people are going to be switching around the chairs. Uh, whereas for for my for my home here, where I'm sat most of the day, I I just have no use for this chair. So it's a good chair. I'll be keeping it, but it's just fit for another purpose. Whereas this chair, it's not as beautiful. It, it's, it looks a little bit outdated, maybe. Or it just looks a little bit plain and boring, but it gets the job done. And I'm not looking at the chair when I'm sat in it. <laughs> I'm looking at, at the charts, which for me are a lot more beautiful. You know, I, I, I can look at this for 12 hours a day, but I, I can't look at this for 12 hours a day. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that is obviously a sub section when you're when you're wanting to buy a chair. So uh, yeah, that's the review today of the Herman Miller Cosm. I would say another feature that well, feature I guess I have obviously carpet. In my office, I do have hard flooring. Um, so I have yet to move this to my other office to actually test this on hard flooring. But these are um, meant to be for carpet wheels. That's something I just remembered, but I don't think there's going to be a major problem. But obviously, they both move around on the carpet absolutely fine, as one would expect. But yeah, there you go. There's the direct comparison of the two chairs, um, some of the differences and pros and cons so hope that you have enjoyed this video you will have to let me know down below what chair do you use do you do you think it's worth spending oh you know so in dollars about one thousand five hundred dollars on a chair or do you think this is a total waste of money because you can to be honest i have used cheaper chairs in the past you know you can get a chair on amazon hundred pounds 
eh, there's a little, you know, I, I, I personally will pay for the quality, but this is a decision you have to make, you know, there isn't a massive amount of difference, but if you have the, the spare cash, I would, I would say the Herman Miller is worth it in the end, but, um, you know, there is a chair for everybody out there, and uh, let me know down below in the comments what chair is for you, is it a Herman Miller, is it an Amazon home, or is it a Ikea chair? Uh, I'm interested to know what people are using, so you'll have to let, you'll have to let me know. I, I might end an outro with my dog. We, we can cut to her in a second. <laughs> She's, she always likes to go on camera. So we are going to end the video asking Ruby her opinion of the chairs. Oh, she, she is bored of the review already, as you can tell. She is very bored. She, she's thinking, go back to trading. Go back to trading, Daniel. Uh, this is Doge, if you haven't met her already. I did let her sit in the Aerion and Cosm chair, and she didn't enjoy either. She ran straight back to the sofa. I was like, Daniel, let me sleep. Please just let me sleep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she, she, she says the sofa is the best option. And if you actually, if you have watched my videos for for a while, you'll know that in my in my office, I actually have a bed. So half the time I do actually just go and lay down in the bed, which is which is a little bit of a unique thing for me, having a bed in the office. But nevertheless, back to the video. Um, yeah, well, I hope that you've enjoyed the review of the Herman Miller and Cosm. And please let me know. Um, Give this video a like or a dislike, I suppose, or just give a comment down below of, have you enjoyed this different style of video today? Uh, obviously, the style of video being more of a vlog type uh, thing. Uh, have you enjoyed this? Or do you want me to just get back to the charts? She wants me to get back to the charts and she's going to run away. Oh, no, she's going to go back to sleep, I think. She's going to curl up. You can watch her curl up. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Do you enjoy this different style of video or do you prefer me just talking about, about the charts? Please let me know, uh, because I'll know how to use my time efficiently. So cheers, everybody. Thank you, and goodbye.